everyone, and in today's video, we're going to be revisiting old Toka games. So, if you didn't know, before Toka Life World, Toka actually had a bunch of other games, such as Pet and Lab, which actually are all put onto an app called Toka Junior now. But I thought today we'd revisit a few of them, so let's go! The first one we're going to be revisiting is one called Nature. Fun fact, I've never played this one before, so this is my first genuine reaction. If you want to play this game, I know that you have to pay, but they currently have a 7 day free trial, so i definitely try that out and see if you like the game. So from my understanding, what this game is, is you can change the terrain, so you can add a bunch of woods, forests, um, mountains and lakes, and then different animals will come from that because it's their habitat. And then you can observe them, give them food, that kind of thing. So again, I've never played this game before, and I know all of these games are aimed towards a younger audience, but I thought I would play them and give my genuine like opinion. So first of all, I kind of struggled on how to do the mountain. I was a bit confused, um, but I soon figured it out. But it was a bit hard to control at first, because whenever I tried to place it down, it just get rid of it. But overall, apart from that, the mechanics and the layout is quite self-explanatory. You know, you just place it and then the little globe in the right hand corner allows you to move around and the magnifying glass in the left hand corner allows you to go closer to all the animals. Also I want to apologise for any background noise, it is currently so so hot in the UK so I have my window open and my fan on so I'm really sorry if there's any background noise. I am going to get a better microphone soon so, the, so that the audio is better but until then we're just going to have to deal with my broken headphones with a mic. <laughs> so soon I had built the world that I wanted to explore so you just take the magnifying glass, go to the area that you want to get closer to and then you can observe all the animals. For example, in this wood there was multiple bears, which I soon found out that actually you need to go collect items such as berries, mushrooms and acorns and fish to feed the animals so that they don't starve. I'm not too sure what the other goal of this is, I'm not going to lie to you. I just know that you have to collect the materials and you have to build your own world. I think this could be very entertaining and it's a very very calming game, but I don't think it's very like Toka Life World is there's unlimited possibilities whereas this it's quite limited but I definitely think it's a very calming game so children will definitely enjoy it when they need to relax or calm down also I like the simplicity of it all and also the animation style is adorable I really hope Toka Boka does something like this again because it is so so cute but yeah I would definitely I would I think I would play this as a younger child now maybe not but as a younger child I'd definitely play it like before bed or something. So overall my final rating is around 3.5 or 4 stars out of 5. The next game we're going to play is a bit more of a popular one called Token Mini. This is a game where you create your own avatar and I know people like Dan T D M have played this so I think this one's a bit more well known. I'm not going to lie to you, when I first got into this game I did struggle with the mechanics a bit. I was a bit confused on how to do everything and I didn't, there wasn't a lot of skin tone options so I'd definitely say that something that needs to be added or updated is added more skin tones. But other than that, the adding all the stickers, which I think is quite cool how they blink and you know you can customise them, add as many or little as you want. So the stickers were quite self explanatory and very much like Toka Life World because Tokoboka has a certain style when it comes to characters. I think that you know all the mouth and nose options, they were all good. Here you can see me trying to recreate my character from Toka Life World, which proved to be slightly more difficult than I imagined. Considering the fact that all items and the hair and everything, the paint, is all 2D on the character so nothing sticks out. So when you make hair, it ends up looking a bit like, like this, which it looks very very odd, but to do this I just added a bunch of stickers. I don't really know the other option of how to do hair because I was a bit confused, so there may be another option, but that's just the option that I did. So other than that, you just use different colours to create your clothing, which again I felt was very very limited. I understand there's a bunch of stickers here, but the colour options were very... There was they lacked a bunch of colour options, um, and I just... I don't really know if I'd buy this because it 
was a bit more difficult than I imagined and also the options were kind of limited. I know this seems like a bunch of colours but when creating a character it was a bit hard. I didn't really know what to do or I don't know there wasn't it, it felt a bit limited. I understand I don't have the creative brain of a small child so it may be a lot more fun if you're younger but personally me now I probably wouldn't buy this game. This is how my character turned out. Looks very very odd but again I think this game would be a lot more fun if you're very much very younger because I think the creative brain would work with this game I suppose but other than that I don't think I would buy this game. I think younger me would enjoy it for a few plays but would possibly get a bit bored just so I think there's the options are very limited and that it needs to be a bit updated a bit more because this game hasn't been updated in a while I do not think but other than that I think this game I would give around a 3 or a 2.5 out of 5 just because it's not my kind of thing and I don't know if my younger self would enjoy it as much as I could have so yeah that's my opinion but other than that, that is the end of the video. Let me know if you want me to try out other games in Tokyo Junior, such as Tokyo Kitchen, that kind of thing. So let me know and comment down below what is your favourite type of cake for a chance for a shout out in my next video. That's all for today. Bye guys!